Okay, so just before I get into this quick little review, the video is partially sponsored. I got hold of Think Tank and asked them if I could try out one of their bags. They ended up contacting a store here in Norway called Scandinavian Photo, who ended up contacting me and basically saying that I could have the bag as long as I could leave a comment below on both companies. But instead, I decided to make a video about this. I wanted a review anyway. So first of all, uh, this is the shoulder bag that I have been using, which is the Peak Design Everyday Messenger. This is the size 15. It served me pretty well these past couple of years, but it just gets really uncomfortable and I don't feel like the, there's enough space for a lot of things that I want to do. The strap is okay, it's a little soft, but it, it's a bit slippery, so it kind of just doesn't stay in place where you need it. Basically, I just wanted something different and something a bit more reliable. So I ended up getting this Think Tank Retrospective 30. This is the newest version of the Retrospective series. So this is the leather version. As you see, there's a nice leather front pouch here. and. The seams and stuff as well have been made with leather and just put together really nicely. Otherwise it's the basic material and bag that they've been using from the last version of their series. And I wanted to use Think Tank because I do like their equipment. I've already been using their Think Tank limo, which I use a lot for when I'm doing my longer hikes and walks. And also for a quick run and gun stuff, I have this holster here, which basically just holds a camera and a 7200. It's been really good for just taking a camera and a lens out, but otherwise this bag is really nicely made. First of all, you have your uh, buckle here, which you can close normally. So you have these Velcro straps here that are normally open. So basically you're able to release these Velcro straps because of the sound silencer system that they have here. So you can basically just close them down. So when you're in environments where let's say it's just an event where people are talking and stuff, you don't want to keep opening and closing your bag with that Velcro going. It could be really annoying and noisy. And the fact that you can close that off is a really nice feature to this bag. If you need to, you just keep the bag open constantly with it on your shoulder so you have access to your equipment. This bag in general has a lot of space. You've got this front pouch here, which holds quite a lot in. It even has the Think Tank uh, rain cover, which is really handy. I love that they add that into the products because getting uh, raincoats and stuff in general can be quite expensive and annoying when you have to keep buying one for everything that you have. So the fact that they add one to their bags is just extremely helpful. Then you have one more pouch just behind that one in here, which you can hold pens or any other equipment or whatever else you want really. So obviously you've got the main compartment here. Right now I have my 14 to 24, I have my Nikon D850 with the 24 to 70 on, and then I have the 70 to 200. And one great thing about this is even with the lens on each side of the bag, I'm able to have my D850 and my new Sigma 105 f1.4 and there's still a lot of space in this bag even with those lenses in here together. One great thing is you have your typical three pouches here plus you have these side extra pouches on the side on each side and even one more behind that which here you can basically hold some flashes or even a microphone or any other equipment that you need on the side. You have your basic zipper on the inside here, which you could probably just keep some papers or any other important equipment, basically flat equipment at that point. And then you have your standard laptop bag pouch here, which is really nice to have so you can put an iPod or anything else. But one thing I actually like using this for is using some filters in here um, or actually using the filter system in here. So I have I can basically put some square filters in here plus the holder for my 14 to 24 millimeter and it will hold everything in here. It starts to bulge out a little bit with that equipment in there but if you just have the holder in the front and then the filters in the back, there's just still so much more space, especially compared to the bag I was using by Peak Design. If you need to have a lot of equipment, mainly for short event photography, nothing too long, you, you want to focus on having a bag like this for roughly uh, two to three hours max, otherwise it will start hurting your shoulder in general anyway. So if you are gonna do longer distance stuff or longer shoots and you need to have a bag on you at all times, I would suggest using a backpack then. But otherwise, this is great for running gun and just taking equipment with you and being able to have quick and easy access to your equipment. This bag is really nicely made, nicely designed. All the seams are really nicely put together. You have the leather, uh, contouring around the edges um, and then you even have strap like this on each side of the bag which you can basically 
strap something like the holster to it. So these often have little sections in the back here that you can just plug onto those uh, straps. And then you have a pouch on either side which you could easily fit a flash in there, have your phone in there or any other equipment. That's just easy access. You have this really great strap here which has been really nicely made. So you have these rubber lines just edged over the back of it. So it really helps it hold in place. You're not having the bag slip all over the place. So wherever you put it on your shoulder, it should stay. Um, and the padding in this is really good. It's really comfortable. And the fact that they put the leather on the back here as well is just giving it a little bit more strength and sturdiness. So they've really thought pretty hard on their design on this bag. The fact that they've been running the retrospective line for many years now, you can actually see that they're putting a lot of effort in by updating them quite often. Especially in this version, the fact that they've used the leather, it's just really nice. And it doesn't look like a camera bag. That's one thing I really like about this. It just, it looks like you're taking a normal um, shoulder bag with you somewhere and Nobody really knows what's inside it unless you're hanging some camera equipment on the outside But to anyone else this could just look like a typical shoulder bag that people carry around But as of right now, like I said, you can fit a lot of stuff in here But right now I've only got my basic kit in here, which is the D850 with my 24-70 My 70-200 and the 14-24 millimeter And there's still so much more space. I just love the space in this bag. So I'm really loving this bag and I think I will be using this a lot now. I generally have only been using the Peak Design bag as a shoulder bag. Um, I do actually have another small little low pro one which it's okay but it's too small for a lot of the stuff that I do so that's why I opted for something much bigger and something that I can really rely on. But otherwise a huge thank you to Think Tank for sending this bag out to me because it's actually a lot better than I thought it would be. So far I can't really think of much bad to talk about. I mean it's it's just a great bag. It does what you need it to. Uh, maybe in the future I'll probably find a few things that I don't really like but as it is now um, it works really well for me and that's a really good thing to have in a bag. If there's anything else you want to know about the bag, leave a comment below and I'll get hold of you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you guys in the next video.